in this video I'm going to show you how to program the uh, Arduino Uno R3 by making use of Atmel Studio or Microchip Studio. It's Atmel or Microchip Studio is actually the same program. It's just uh, it was taken over by Microchip and that's why the name has changed. So the very first thing I'm going to do or show you how to do is we need to determine the COM port value of the Arduino when once it's connected to the USB uh, cable. So the first thing we'll do is get, get to the search box here and I will type in there control. Uh, then I will go to control panel, just click here on control panel. Once you get there, just click on device manager. And it will open up this window here. And as soon as it opened up this window, I must look for COM ports, but because nothing is connected yet, I will just connect my Arduino Uno just now. There it's connected. And we must just look for COM ports. Here it is. And uh, here it is. And all I need to do is just click on there, and it says to me that my Arduino Uno is connected to COM port number 5. And you'll see why that is important uh, quite soon. So I know that it's five, so just remember what your COM port is also. And I want to go to my, I've got a, uh, at the end of the day, this, it says here, place this in the argument box. I will tell you, this is part of the uh, Arduino Uno Studio. Uh, this link here, or not really this link here, this command must be placed in there, or this line must be placed in there. So this specific uh, line that I've got here in my case I also show that I've also got that on my D2L uh, web, web page um, and this will this section here will be placed in the command box that COM port I've talked about you can see here in this case it, it is COM port number six uh, I will definitely make use of COM number five so uh, I can just change it while I'm here so that's COM number five, COM port number five, and then it should be fine once I get to Atmel Studio. So the next step is I would like to go to Atmel Studio, as I've done here. And now to set up this Atmel Studio, is you click on Tools. Then you scroll down until you get External Tools. And at this stage, we haven't got any tool connected. So Title, you can actually type in here anything. In my case, I'm just going to say program uh, Arduino Uno R3. But you can type in anything there. Then, on this command line, as I've said, you have to, there something needs to be placed there. And on the arguments line, something else needs to be placed. If you look at the command line, uh, I can actually just... Uh, I can actually just go where it says the command box. I can just copy this this whole line and place it in there. But uh, or you can follow the steps to get to the C drive, program files, Arduino hardware tools, AVR bin, AVR dude. You can actually go and click each and every one of them, um, and then you'll get to the same place. Maybe I should do that just to to show the steps. So. I will have to go to I go to C my C drive uh, program files Arduino hardware tools AVR bin and then just look for AVR dude and this it, it, is, it is this one sitting here um, so yeah that's the steps that you can take um, I didn't do that on the program now so let's just quickly go to the command line and again do the same steps go to C go to program files go to Arduino go to hardware tools AVR bin and AVR dude and if you say open it will actually what I've got here on my word document what you see here will actually be exactly the same. Um, then this, I said, yeah, place this in the arguments box. So I'll copy this whole section here, 
with my change on port number five. Let's just copy that, go back to this arguments here, and I'll place it there, and you'll see that in my case, COM port will be five. There it is. And once you've got that, this whole thing, uh, you just click on apply and click OK. And now your Arduino or your Atmos Studio is ready to actually program your hex file into your Arduino Uno. Uh, if you click on tools, you will see, uh, sorry, tools, you'll see here it says now program the Arduino Uno R3. So once I've got my program, my hex file, I can just click on this thing now and it will then program the specific device. Thank you.